places like Boston haven't seen a blizzard warning for nearly four years. That was back in 2018. Right now, we're joined by meteorologists from the National Weather Service in Boston in Norton, Massachusetts, Hayden Frank. Hayden, thanks so much for joining us. Sure. So we mentioned it's been about four years where, since you've seen that last blizzard warning in effect. So obviously for Boston, we don't necessarily see storms to this caliber all the time. So what is the biggest threat for the people in the Boston area? So the biggest threat is going to be the heavy snow. We're looking at 18 to 30 inches of snow combined with very strong winds. So you're going to get tremendous blowing and drifting of snow. You could get drifts three to four feet. and the snowfall rates are going to be two to four inches per hour tomorrow. So that makes it very hard to impossible for the plows to be able to keep up with that. And that's why it's very dangerous for anyone to be on the roads. And the best advice we can give is just stay home. Yeah, and obviously you and I know the difference between blizzards and not. So what can you tell people? What's the difference between a blizzard and not? What really makes that blizzard warning? Yeah, so a blizzard's not about the snow amounts, but it's about near zero visibility, whiteout conditions, meaning you can barely see in front of you. So you can just imagine how dangerous that can be on, on roadways when you're having snow falling at two, three, four inches per hour and whiteout conditions. So just a very dangerous storm uh, headed to the area for tomorrow. And the system over the last several days at times has been pretty tricky to forecast. So what has it been like for you guys at that National Weather Service office leading up into this? How has it been uh, feeling seeing some of these totals really start to go up? Yeah, it's been a difficult forecast in the sense that we were really confident in heavy snow across the Boston area. It was areas west. How far west was the heavy snow going to get? into central and western Massachusetts. That was the most challenging aspect of this forecast so far. So as you're drawing up some of these maps that are saying we could see a couple of feet of snow, what are you saying to the people living in the area? Do you have any advice for them? Well, just to stay off the roads. It's a very dangerous storm. And the wind chills are going to be below zero, uh, which is unusual. Usually when, it, when we get snow, uh, temperatures are usually in the mid-20s to low 30s. Temperatures going to be falling through the teens uh, with 40 to 60 mile per hour winds, even hurricane force wind gusts on the Cape and Islands. So wind chills are going to be below zero. So if you do get stuck, uh, you can see what a dangerous situation you put yourself in. So, so dangerous and conditions changing very quickly over the next 24 hours. Meteorologist Hayden Frank, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Kiana, let's send it over to you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.